Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and in this tutorial, which is tutorial number 34, we are finally going to start creating a basic website uh, template or website layout that we are going to use um, or that you guys will be able to use to create all your websites from now on. Okay, so I've got some code from the previous tutorial over here and uh, these are basically just the new tags which I did speak about in the previous tutorial so if you guys didn't watch that just go back and watch that and all of this is going to make sense but we've got our header tag navigation tag section tag and uh, let's actually space this out a little bit better and underneath that we've got the aside tag and right at the bottom the new footer tag okay so these are all tags that we're going to be able to use to divide our website up into um, like just a manageable or uh, logical uh, sections okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this navigation tag out over here and I'm gonna place it inside my header because it's a good idea like to include your navigation in your header and that way you can just have your header on every single page and it'll be the same because uh, your navigation is probably also going to have to be the same across all pages. So I like to have my navigation inside of my header. Some people actually do this. Some people like to have their navigation inside of the side tag and then place their navigation on the side. But I'm uh, like I, I favor having my navigation in the head and actually going across the top of the web page, kind of like Google or Facebook or something. So. Um, let's talk about what we actually need to put in our header now because we already know we're going to have to put our nav navigation in here but other than that we're also going to have to place our logo so I'm going to create an image tag over here and I'm going to give this a source of uh, logo dot ping but I haven't actually created a logo yet I don't have one so this isn't going to show up uh, until I actually create the image but for now let's just give this an alt attribute of uh, logo area and that means that for now as a placeholder we'll have these words logo area appearing where our logo is supposed to go at least you know until I create an actual logo okay in the navigation we're going to have to place a whole bunch of links to other pages but uh, we don't have any other pages yet so the links aren't going to be complete and uh, the way I like to do this is create an unordered list because it just makes things a little bit uh, more manageable and there we go we have an unordered list so inside the unordered list we're going to have a bunch of list items okay and in these list items we're actually going to have our links so uh, a and ending A. Okay, and let's just give this an href tag of nothing. Okay, now because we haven't created these web pages yet, we don't want these links to actually go anywhere because they'll go to a page that doesn't exist. So we'll leave the href blank, and uh, that means the link will still show up. So we can still uh, style the web page and get the link looking all pretty, but it doesn't have to work until we actually um, you know have actually created the other pages so uh, the first page we can link to is home which is pretty much going to be the page that we on already because your index page is your home page uh, then let's uh, copy this and paste it down here a few times so uh, the next page that we can link to or you know have a fake link to is the about page because pretty much every website has an about page uh, other than that let's do a tutorials page just because I make tutorials so you know that's all I'm thinking about right now and at the last uh, link we can place in a contact page okay so these uh, pages don't exist right now so we're leaving the href blank but the links will still show up. So if I run this in Firefox, um, let's go over here, run in Firefox, we have um, the logo area, which uh, we're going to put our logo in there soon enough, as soon as I make one. I haven't made one yet. But 
we have our navigation showing up here as well, but it's got these bullet points. So don't worry about that. We are going to style that uh, or this, these bullet points away later on with the styling. But for now, um, you know, our, our navigation at least shows up. So that's all we wanted to look out for. So that is pretty much our header done. We can add some stuff later maybe, but you know, for now, I think uh, we've uh, got our, you know, basic content in there. So uh, for our section, I think I'm going to leave this for the next tutorial. So let's just uh, make a comment over here. And comments are actually so like weird in HTML to remember that smaller than greater than sign of the exclamation mark and stuff but okay um, next tutorial so I'm gonna get back to this but in the next video okay so uh, yeah like I said we'll do this in the next tutorial <laughs> I kind of lost my place because I had to go tell my dog to stop barking um, okay then in the aside section like I said this would just be sort of um, some side news or um, just content that isn't that important but I think we'll get to this in the next video as well because this video is getting kind of long so uh, I'm just going to copy that and paste that here and uh, we'll definitely work on those in the next video but for the footer uh, this you know uh, sometimes websites don't really have anything that they want to put in their footer so like if your website's going to be a little bit empty but you still need a footer um, this is pretty much where your copyright will go. Okay, so if you guys want a little, um, you know, symbol, I think it's Alt Control C. Okay, no, I can't get that to appear. But if I type in the word and copy, so and percent and uh, copy, just like this, I will get a little copyright symbol that shows up, and then I can just uh, put in here copyright. Uh, oops, copyright the programmers creed.com. And actually, let's make that all one word and maybe get rid of the. So, copyright programmers creed.com. And if I save that now, go over to Firefox and click refresh, you can see I've got my copyright showing up at the bottom. And this is the little copyright symbol I was talking about. And the way you make that in HTML is by writing and copy with a little semicolon. Okay, so that's all for this video, but come back in the next video where we will start putting some more information in our section and our aside section. And until then, I will see you guys next time.